This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Through the 4K video recording and gaming, we're gonna test to see if this beloved flagship overheats. Taking the data we compiled from last year's best of Android comparison and running the same tests on the Exynos-powered Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, we can tell whether the current smartphones operate cooler than their predecessors. Now to be clear, we've tested the Exynos-powered Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge with the same tests to distinguish if one of the two handsets overheats more than the other. We also combined the data compiled in our testing a few months ago to give you a comparison against other devices. Now one of the biggest tests has got to be 4K video recording. It may be a feature present on most mid-range and premium smartphones, but it also is a surefire way to put your smartphone's internals under enough pressure to heat up, sometimes to critical temperatures. With a 4K video recording limit of 10 minutes, does the Galaxy S7 heat up noticeably, or does the liquid cooling and power efficiencies prevent it from doing so? Taking the average of the three temperatures recorded, the Galaxy S7 Edge heats up less than the Galaxy S7 does, with a temperature increase of 4.50 and 4.90 respectively. Despite this, however, both rise in temperature slightly more than the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and pale in comparison to the Nexus 6P, which scores a 1.73 rise. Now that's 4K recording, but what about Full HD video? It's less taxing on internals, but Full HD recording can happen for much longer, up to 30 minutes, so this should be interesting. This is where the Galaxy S7 proves to be quite a disappointment, running quite hot after its stint as a cameraman. With an average temperature rise of 5.07, the smartphone falls behind the Nexus 6P, the LG V10, and the Xperia Z5 Premium. The Galaxy S7 Edge fares considerably better, but with a temperature rise of 3.27, it still only ranks in one place higher. Now, of course, the granddaddy test of all is mobile gaming, specifically a 30-minute session of Defense Zone 2 HD, which is fairly resource-intensive. How does each smartphone fare? Note that we haven't run this test previously, so the results of the Nexus 6P and the Note 5 and BlackBerry Priv were all captured as part of our testing. As you can see here, the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge both outperform the Nexus 6P, the Note 5, and the BlackBerry Priv, as the efficiency gains provided by new architecture come into effect. This could also potentially be due to Samsung's liquid cooling feature, with a percentage gain of approximately 28% and 22% respectively over the Note 5. It's likely to be a combination of both factors. So what's the verdict? Does the S7 and S7 Edge overheat? Well, the data clearly shows that both smartphones do indeed run hot during camera-based tasks with the area containing the camera proving to be the hottest part of each smartphone. But during the performance intensive tasks, Samsung's newest flagships remain mostly cool. Taking averages of each smartphone across various tests, we can see that the S7 and S7 Edge rank lower than you might have expected, with the Nexus 6P, the LG V10, and the Galaxy Note 5 proven to be cooler on average. What's most interesting to me though is that the Galaxy S7 Edge is consistently cooler than the regular variant. The extra size of Samsung's larger flagship offers heat a wider area from which to dissipate, and as such, the smartphone does run noticeably cooler. Now what I want to know is, does the liquid cooling actually work? It's entirely likely that the liquid cooling does help some internal components cool, but the redesigned camera module overheats more than previous devices, resulting in a false negative result. Have any of you guys or gals had problems with your S7 or S7 Edge overheating? Let me know in the comments below. So do you guys remember from like 15 years ago when people were making money hands over fist in the dot-com bubble? Remember we didn't call it a dot-net bubble or dot-org bubble? We didn't call them dot-biz billionaires. We called them dot-com billionaires because that's the power of a dot com. Now why is that? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a dot com or dot net domain name. Dot com and dot net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com.